What's up everybody? Hope you're having an awesome week. Welcome back to our channel, The Village's Experience. I'm Michael. And I'm Tiffany. And sorry, not sorry, that we took last week off, right? That's right. So uh, we had a big, big milestone, big anniversary, and being that it was our 30th wedding anniversary last week. Yay, 30 years of putting up with each other. <laughs> 30 years of putting up with me. <laughs> so how do we celebrate? Um, well, we, um, for dinner, honor it actual anniversary we went to prima italian steakhouse in brownwood paddock square <laughs> We had reached out to you guys on Facebook and asked for recommendations and we got lots of recommendations and we have added all of those to our list yep. of everywhere that we need to eat. Yep. Um, and somebody was kind enough to give us a gift card and so we decided that we would try Prima. What did you think of dinner? Uh, number one, the atmosphere was awesome. The uh, hospitality and the service was awesome. <laughs> So the wait staff was great. They made our, our night very, very special. And we, we finished off dinner with a, a, a champagne toast, right? Yeah, yeah. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Cheers. Happy anniversary. Cheers. There you go, right on cue. Pennies from heaven. Our favorite movie. And then we walked around the town square a little bit. They had, a, of course, be the town square is always a live band playing. <laughs> and that's just one of the awesome things about living in the villages. No matter what you're celebrating, what kind of milestone, what kind of anniversary, there's always some place to go eat that's awesome. There's always live entertainment. So, uh, yeah, you never have to leave the bubble if you want to celebrate anything, right? That's right. <laughs> but actually, we've been celebrating our 30th anniversary for almost the last year. So after our 29th anniversary, but before our 30th, we took a bucket list trip that we've been planning for years and years and years and that is uh we went to the grand canyon for the first time right we are both very well traveled people but we had never been to the grand canyon for some odd reason had been close many many times yes. on business trips had flown to arizona many many times but just never took that trip over there the main reason was because we do travel individually for business and when we saw the grand canyon for the first time we wanted to celebrate and do that together and let me tell you what it lived up to our expectations all the hype and uh yeah we took the tesla on a cross-country road trip uh all the way from orlando we drove uh, all the way through the night and our first main stop you know of course we had to stop to charge up the tesla at superchargers but our first stop we drove for 24 hours was waco texas because one of the things that tiffany wanted to see on our way to the grand canyon was what uh, Magnolia and the silos. So we had to stop in Waco. So we had a great experience there. And then we just kind of went diagonally across uh, Texas, stopping in a lot of little small towns like Nolan, Texas and Happy, Texas. And then of course we went to Amarillo, home of, uh, what was the name of the steak place we went to? Can you remember? Is that the Big Texan? That's right. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> we did not take the uh, the Big Texan steak challenge. We saw one person attempt that while we were there. They did not finish. Uh, but yeah, that was a phenomenal, phenomenal meal. And then we just drove all the way across country through uh, uh, what was next, New Mexico. And mm -hmm. then we got into Arizona and we just did a lot of awesome things. But yeah, when we got to the Grand Canyon, we had just beautiful, beautiful weather. We spent uh, a couple of nights and three days there and it was just definitely well worth it. And then of course, on the way back, uh, we kind of took our time and went down Route 66, stopping at a lot of really unique boutique uh, motels, right? Yeah, like kitschy, like what you would expect from Route 66. Neon, lots of neon. What were, the, what were some of the names of the ones we stopped at? Um, we stopped at the Roadrunner. Yep. We stopped at the Motel Safari. And there's one more. Well, there's two more. We actually stopped, two more. At, stopped at the Sunset Hotel as oh, well. Sunset Hotel, and then the very unique one. Yeah, what was that? 
we stayed in a wigwam for the night. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty awesome. It, uh, that was a good thing to do. We would love to do the Route 66 from uh, one end. It starts up in Chicago and ends all the way over there, basically in California, or you could start the other way in California and end in Chicago. And we've had some friends of ours do that on a motorcycle. They mm -hmm. did a trip on that, but unfortunately they had some really rainy, horrible weather. Uh, but yeah, we just had perfect weather. And that was our big trip that we did do between our 29th and our 30th anniversary. Um, but moving to the villages was actually our big 30th anniversary present, right? Right, right. So we'd already talked about that because originally before we bought a house here in the villages, we were thinking about going to the big island of Hawaii. That's where we celebrate our 20th wedding anniversary and that just flew by from 20 to, to 30 years. And so we originally were gonna do that, but uh, we moved up our time frame to move to the villages. So the big island, we might be coming to visit you next year. This year, it's all about living in the villages, experiencing the villages, and then sharing that awesome experience with you. And, um, you know, one of the things that you, you have to do if you want to live in the village to, to get the full experience, that is, you have to ride around in a golf cart, right? Right. So guess what we're doing? <laughs> we're riding around and testing out golf carts. We were going to put it off, but we are ready to buy a golf cart. And uh, this is just part of that next chapter of testing out, driving, making sure they'll fit in our garage, make sure they fit Tiffany, they fit me. Uh, but yeah, so far, uh, we're really loving this golf cart, right? We are. So after we rented one, we decided that we definitely want to move up our timeline. So maybe this is kind of our anniversary present, honey. There, there is, you go. Is buying a golf cart. I like that. I like that thinking. That's, that's a good <laughs> idea. So thanks everybody that left us awesome comments and let us know about uh, your golf cart. So many of you left us great recommendations on different golf carts to try and different dealerships. So we're at one of those dealerships right now. So stay tuned, lots more uh, golf cart shopping, test driving, and of course, ultimately we will buy one and we'll do the big uh, reveal and let you know exactly what we decided to pick for our first golf cart, because I get a feeling that uh, down the road, we're gonna probably need two golf carts. <laughs> So we're back to the house after test driving golf carts all day long. I think we drove three or four different types of golf carts today. So I have a lot of video to edit and share with you here in the near future. So thanks again to uh, all the awesome people that have left us comments about your golf cart or awesome dealerships that we should go check out. Let us know. It's a big, big decision. We're going to spend anywhere between 10 and 20 grand for a brand new golf cart. And we want to make sure it's not only right for us right now, but it's also going to be a golf cart that will meet our needs in the future. So thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody for those awesome comments. Tiffany's inside. She's got to get ready for a work trip. She's going to be out of town for a few days. So we will not be doing our normal uh, shout outs this week. I need her to help me go through that list. But a lot of you have reached out through our email and the comments below and on Facebook to let us know that you're either here for a lifestyle visit right now or that you just closed on a brand new house here in the villages. Congratulations to all of you. Matter of fact, one of you said that you bought the house that we were out in front of a couple of weeks ago down in Dabney, so that's pretty awesome. So if you haven't done so already, look in the description below for that email, send us a picture or a video and let us know what's up with you, what's going on in your world, so we can get back to doing those regular shout outs next week. So. Uh, uh, the big thing that's on the horizon for us is three weeks from today is our son will be graduating college with his MBA. He already has his uh, bachelor's degree and he's been working for the last couple of years and working on the MBA at the same time. So three weeks from today, we will be celebrating that milestone. And then in the villages, the big thing, of course, is uh, this Friday night is the Blueberry Festival at Brownwood Paddock Square. So if you see us out and about at the Blueberry Festival or anywhere in the villages, make sure you say hello. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you smash the thumbs up button, drop us a comment below, and then share our video with other awesome people that may be interested in the villages or just looking for fun and positive content. Hope you have an awesome rest of your week, and we will see you in the next video.